Dan Mass was always on the move. Six days old and I spread his little blanket in the middle of the living room and after about three minutes I poked my head out the kitchen door, uh, check on my new son, and he was gone. I get down on my hands and knees and I look under the coffee table, no. Under the sofa, no. Under the chair, uh-uh. Under the dresser, un un he's not there. With that, I rushed out the screen door and practically tripped over him. He had crawled, pushed whatever across the room, pushed the screen door open, tumbled down two steps to the carpeted porch, and was laying down there on his back looking up at me. About 11 years later, his passion for people and running came together after hearing about Canadian Terry Fox, who had to stop a run across the country as his cancer returned. I did get his phone number and I telephoned him in his hospital in British Columbia and I put Danny on the phone with him. And when Danny got off the phone, I said, well, what did he say? Danny said, he said we have to continue his run for him because it's not just his run, it's everybody's run. And I'm going, oh no, I don't want to run across Canada. <laughs> I don't have the time for this. Instead, they started a charity run that is in its 37th year. They raise money for families whose children are affected by cancer. After Dan passed away in a car accident last August, the run was renamed. After Dan was killed a year ago, the students who run the, that activity today at the school uh, voted to change the name, and it's now called the Danny Mass Memorial Cancer Run. What was most significant to me as a father was to give purpose that had an altruistic uh, reason behind it for uh, serious training and running. That philosophy led Dan to earn 12 All-American honors, six individual national championships, and four team national titles. Two of those Adams State teams are already inducted into the Armac Hall of Fame. It was a love affair from start to finish. He loved his teammates. He loved what he was doing. He loved Alamosa. He loved his coaches. Uh, it was just joy. Uh, you couldn't hope for a better college experience. But his career didn't stop there. Dan was a member of nine U.S. national teams and took part in the 1992 and 1996 Olympic trials. He made the finals and uh, I think he was eighth and in the mile, maybe a second and a half off. The uh, quality of the competition is unreal and everybody is right up against what's humanly possible to do. In fact, in the 96 trials, all 24 athletes finished within 1.2 seconds elapsed time. But his legacy won't be just about his time on the track. He inspired so many. We know that uh, his courage, his determination, uh, his work ethic, his kindness, his generosity. Uh, we hear it from hundreds and hundreds of people. Everybody who knew him was affected and uh, that does bring us some joy. Uh, we have, we, we had 47 wonderful years with him. If you could say something to him now, what would it be? I love you. Dan Mass, Armac Hall of Fame class of 2017.